Hi, I'm First Andra, and welcome back to Red Dead Redemption 2. Uh, let's do the P mission, I guess. Can I go in here? Yes, I can. Was I supposed to go? Driscoll boys we killed at that ranch down the way. <laughs> that was kind of cool. There you are. We're going to starve to death up here, Mr. Morgan. Pierce. We're okay. We have a few cans of food and a rabbit. For what? 10, 12 people? When I was in the Navy. I, I do not wish to hear about what you got up to in the <laughs> Navy, Mr. Pearson. We were stranded at sea for 50 days. And you unfortunately survived. <laughs> when we ran away from Blackwater, I wasn't able to get supplies in. Well, when government agents are hunting you down, sometimes shopping trips need to be cut short. We'll survive. We always have. If needs be, we can eat you. You're the fattest. <laughs> I sent Lenny and Bill hunting, and they found nothing. Well, Lenny's more into book learning than hunting. Bill's a fool. Unless those mountains are full of game that want to read, ain't no wonder they found enough nothing. of this. We'll go find something. Come on, Arthur. <laughs> Wait a second. Hold on. Uh, here. You're gonna need something neat out there. Assorted salted offal. Starving would be preferable. Come on, let's go. <laughs> you can't go hunting. Look at your hand. I can't stay here listening to you two. Look, if this game in those hills, I'll find it. And you can kill it. You need to rest, Charles. You think this is rest? Come along. <laughs> here, you take this. I can't use it, and you'll have to. Oh, you're joking. Use a gun, and we'll scare off every animal for miles around. You're never too old to learn, I imagine. All right. Let's yeah. head out. <laughs> Ooh, I'm bonding with my horse. Okay, apart from this hand. Stupid mistake. Still bad? It'll be fine in a day or two. I just can't pull a bow right now. Uh, sure hope I can. Never really got the hang of it. You'll be fine. <sighs> so, you reckon we're gonna find something to kill that ain't no Driscoll? Huh. There's meat up here for sure. Pearson doesn't know what he's talking about. Now the weather's eased off a bit, they'll be needing to feed. Good point. We'll head up this way. Point Find some indeed. higher ground. Uh, okay, this way, Ooh. apparently. Been a wild few days, all right. That right north from Blackwater, getting stuck in your storm, going out for John, that thing with the old Driscolls. You've had a lot put on you. I wish I could have done more. I didn't mean it like that, just a lot to think back on. I still don't really know what happened on that boat. Me neither. <laughs> well, Javier told me a bit, but it sure weren't good. Man, this looks so well done. It feels so authentic. can see like there's snow on top of the rocks you can see that there's uh, not so much on the side of the water because of the heat that uh, there's some patches of grass here this is good come on let's try this way keep your eyes peeled for movement well not the heat from the river but 
that. The wind's died down too. That's good. No wind at all is bad, but if it's too strong, they won't move. Now shh. Stay quiet. Okay. We will stay quiet. But I don't. Hey, stop here a second. I see something. Okay. Good for you, because I don't see anything. Deer been oh, here tracks. recently. How can you tell? We'll track them on foot. You're gonna need the bow. Don't leave it on your of course. The gun will scare everything around. Okay, okay. No. Yes. I'll have the rifle just in case. the best assassinators or hunters or whatever you see the tracks uh, I think so maybe not focus aha uh -huh. fancy fancy schmancy okay that looks so freaking cold <laughs> Oh, but yeah, I like I love how the snow goes down on the trees, how the snow uh, forms when you're walking and crawling about, and it just it's just so well done. You can see how far ahead it is. No. Nope. Going the right way, right? Oh, I think I see it in the background between the trees. Look, see the snow fell off the tree. <laughs> uh, there it is. I need to get closer. Wait, look. There they are. Are you ready with that bow? Aim for their head or neck. What? Focus, Arthur. How did I miss? This meat. It was spot on. Get good tension on the string before releasing. Just don't overdo it. How? Huh? Quick. Before they move. They're already gone. They're already left. Okay, which way did he go? Downwards. Where did you run to? Where did you run to? There, no. There we are, I see you. I see you. Oh, I'm draining too much of my stuff. I'm okay, I'm gonna get on that rock. So I get a little bit of a better position. Good shot. Bam. Now let's try for another. Careful. This might be our only chance for a good meal. Hunt another one. Uh, shouldn't I grab the one I just shot? Oh, there we are. Oh, there were okay. several. You pick up one, I'll get the other. You sure your hands okay? Uh, it'll be fine once I get it on my shoulder. Okay, I'll go grab the other one. Nice. 
Ooh. Put my core stamina is empty ish. There's the horse. There's the horse. Nice. I guess I'm gonna put it on the back. Nice. Put it on the back, so you can get back. Nice. And on to the horse. And then we go. Come on then. Nice. Let's head back. Whoa! Where did you... Did, did you kill a bird? Is that a... No, that's your leg. Nice work, Arthur. Should be enough meat here that's to keep your us leg. all fed for a few days. You found him! I knew you'd be okay with that bow. It's easier when I ain't shooting back. Thank you. No, left. I want to go to the left of the rock. Considering how okay. things were looking a couple of days back. So well, maybe our left's finally on the turn. Seems to me plants. we should be putting our effort into getting Best off plants. this mountain now. Soon. People are still weak, and you've seen how snowed in those wagons are. They ain't going nowhere until we get some more thaw. Mm, you're probably right. And even if we do get off here, what that? We still have a big price on our heads. This is a big country. We'll find somewhere to lie low. Ooh. Dutch and Jose will have a plan. <laughs> yeah, let's just lean on that bad plan. Notice how Pearson's had a bottle in his hand ever since we fled Blackwater? We give the camp cook five minutes to grab the essentials and go, and he doesn't even bring a crumb of food. <laughs> Good that we caught more than one. We've only been up here a few days and have already picked up two more mouths to feed. One more. We ain't feeding the old Driscoll a damn thing. <laughs> Except maybe that can of salt and awful piercing is kind <laughs> enough to give us. The girl, I have no idea what awful is. But it sounds nasty. She lost her husband, her home, everything she had. So what do we do with her? Well, once we get out of here and we're back on our feet, we'll see. She might have family somewhere. Who knows? Maybe she'll deal with the O'Driscoll for us. <laughs> well, I know who my money's on in that fight. <laughs> He's weak, but that makes him much more useful. Maybe we can get to them before they get to us. What is it with the O'Driscolls? You ain't dealt with them? I suppose. Yeah, we ain't run into them much the last six months. I guess because they've been over this way. Yeah. Uh, I've heard a lot of talk about them. Well, we've been scrapping over scores with them for years. Big gang. Nasty sons of bitches. Their leader, Cone, and Dutch go way back. And not in a good way. A proper blood feud. So I heard. Watch out. Okay. Bear up ahead. Oh. Let's see if we find another way around. He's got a lot of meat on him. We've got enough here. No need to push our luck. Sure. He must be real hungry. Stay well back. Spring storms like this are the worst for animals that sleep all winter. Okay, am I gonna follow you or are you? Okay, yeah, I'm gonna follow you. Where did the bear go? Now we're walking Off the trail. straight towards the bear. No, we're not. The bear has spooked your horse. Hold G to calm it. Get plus on horse, I think. We ain't ever talked that much, you and me. How long you been with us now? Five, six months? Something like that. But you didn't expect this. What? Any of this. Blackwater <laughs> mess. Being up here. 
Ah. Sooner or later, a job's gonna go wrong. Nature of life. I just thought you might have moved on by now. You want me to move on? No. No, not at all. I just... I know you could run it alone. No problem. I did that for a long time. I'm done with it. Always wondering if someone's gonna kill you in your sleep. I still wonder that most nights. <laughs> <laughs> I reckon you're okay. This suits me. Sure, I could fall in with another gang, but Dutch. You know, Dutch is different. Oh, yes. Dutch is certainly different. He treats me fair. Most of you do. And for a fellow with a black father and an Indian mother, that ain't normally the case. Well, we need you now. More than ever. Good. How long have you been with these boys? Why ain't you run off? Me? Oh, 20 years, something like that. Since I was a boy. 20 years? Yeah. He taught me to read. John, too. He taught me a few other things. Him and Jose. Huh. I'm sure. Just saved me. Saved most of us. That's why we need to stick by him through this. He always sees us right. But yeah, it's so cool how like you can see like on your coats. How's that new horse? He's all right. On the hat. I appreciate you letting me take time here. But like the snow is partially covering it and it's at least on a coat you can see it's been it's gain or it's becoming more and more snow on the coat. I hope they all make it. I think it's so awesome. Won't take nobody but him. I haven't done that. Yeah, hitch horse. Remove the yes, it was a few. I remember it correctly. Uh, thank you for showing me how to use the bow proper. I showed you a little. It takes a lifetime of practice to master. Surprise! Find a camp rat loitering around in the kitchen. <laughs> that ain't way to greet an old friend. I feel like we haven't spoken for days. I do my utmost to avoid. Oh, he loves me really. It's his sad way of showing affection. <laughs> no, it isn't. Now shoot, get lost. Uh, yeah. well, see you gents later. <laughs> see you got on just fine. Charles is a wonder. Have a drink, boys. You earned it. Jesus, what is that? Navy rum, sir. It's the only thing. The only thing. <laughs> Keeps you saying it does. Yeah, oh. Seems to have done a treat on you. <laughs> Go rest of the hand, Charles. You'll be fine in a few days. Mm. You mind helping me with the skinning, Mr. Morgan? It's easier if we do it together. I'll get to skin you. <coughs> You're always one with the jokes, aren't you? Come on. This really isn't a job for a man with a burnt hand. I'll see you both later. You skin that one, you just dumped on the floor. Oh man. Not too bad, Mr. Morgan. Yeah. They always said you were a butcher. <laughs> you know, you could trade these or sell these in pretty much any town. If you're looking to make a legitimate bit of money, of course. Right now I'm just looking to get off this mountain alive. Well, if you catch anything else, you bring it to me. Sure. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Morgan. Heck. Arthur Morgan's first decent bit of hunting, after all these years. Yeah, well, we're on the run now. Everyone's got to do their bit to survive. Let's make a good <laughs> stew. Folk need it. It's been a tough few days. <sighs> oh. <coughs> 
you have unlocked the Master Hunter Challenge, check your log for more information. A few days later. It's been a bad few weeks. <laughs> Dutch being Dutch, he is busy making plans. And Dutch being Dutch, those plans involve robbery and dreams. Who the hell is Leviticus well, I thought Cornwall. you was reading him his last rites. Now I see you're introducing him to your other passion. I'll mind you to show me some respect, Mr. Morgan. Mind away, Reverend. <laughs> you still here, then? I owe you. Yeah. And you'll pay me. But for the moment, just rest. Arthur. I think it's time for the train. Want me to come? Of course I do, but... <laughs> Look, Ash. I was always ugly, Dutch. It's just a scratch. Don't lie still, son. Hello, Abigail. Dutch. Jackie. The boy wanted to see you, John. He's seen me now. Or what's left of me. What about you? Guess I was hoping to see a corpse. <laughs> Find your time. You'll see plenty of them. You're a rotten man, John Marston. He is an idiot, Abigail. We all know it. Now. Railway man. <laughs> Bill, now you ride ahead and set the charge at the water tower just before the tunnel. Ain't a problem. Why are we doing this? Weather's breaking. We could leave. I, I thought we was lying low. Yeah. Come on. What do you want from me, Hosea? I just don't want any more folks to die, Dutch. We're living, Hosea. We're living. Look at me. We're living. Even you. But we need money. Everything we have is in black water. You fancy heading back there? No. Listen, Dutch, I ain't trying to undermine you. I just... I just want to stick to the plan, which was to lie low, then head back out west. Now, suddenly we're about to rob a train. What choice have we got? Leviticus Cornwall's no joke, Dutch. Well, who is Leviticus Cornwall? You know, he's a big railway magnet, sugar dealer, oil man. Well, how good for him. Sounds like he has more than enough to share. Dutch! <laughs> Gentlemen! It is time to make something of ourselves. Get your horses ready. We have a train to rob. Cool. All right. We're moving out. Follow me. One of the deer skin. Oh, yeah, that's a challenge. Jeez. Okay, gentlemen. Listen up. All of you, according to the information so kindly provided to us by the O'Driscoll, the train will be coming north from Big Valley. We're going to pick it off after it crosses the border into the Grizzlies. There's a raised spot there that should give us good vantage. Charles, you'll keep lookout for any outriders. How's that hand, by the way? I'll be fine. Good. I'll take the driver and engineer, then run point. Engineer. Lenny and Javier, you two take the front cars, deal with any guards. Arthur and Micah, you head straight for the back. That's what we're after. Mr. Cornwall's private car. You and me, Morgan. Great. Have you got a problem with that? Not if you keep your head for once. <laughs> you worry about yourself, huh? Enough! After Bill blows the tracks, we're gonna need to move fast. Is everyone clear on what they're doing? Yep, crystal. Yeah. Love yes, the boss. tracks, Good. love the train. Now come on! And go back. Let's ride! How do they end up with three points? Love the train. Blow up the tracks. Rob the back of the train. Get money. Everything's really blue. Have they been ridden for so long that they're getting to dust? Because it looked like almost midday. I suggest feels good, doesn't it? But we need the to get this done the fast. Now it's thawing before anyone gets up here after us. Oh, look at you boys. See? This is what I call a crew. Micah Bell. 
Carl Smith, Arthur Morgan, Javier Escuela, and what about young Lenny here? Always the first man on his horse. Just happy we're back at him, Dutch. <laughs> you sure you're ready for this, kid? Of course I'm ready. Just stay calm. Keep your eyes short. That goes for all of you. No mistakes. Not again. So we do this, then we go back to Blackwater to collect. How many times you gonna ask the same question, Micah? That's a lot of damn money to leave sitting for too long. It would be crazy to go back there now. The place will be swarming with Pinkertons. We go back when I say we go back. And that's oh, the man. end of it. Money's safe. You'll just have to trust me. And if the O'Driscolls are right, there'll be a stack of railroad bonds on Why this train. Thank you so much. Good money once we work out Whoa. how to cash them. Now, everyone, shut up Please. and get your mind on the job at hand. Come on. There's the water tower. Hold up here on the ridge. Hold. Is Bill there? Yeah. You want to head down? See how he's getting on? Okay. This way? Yeah. Set up the detonator by those rocks over there. Okay, sure. Now just unspool the wire and then attach it to said detonator. I can do that. Should be fairly easy. I guess. See? You head back up to the others. I got it from here. Think so. Okay, cover your faces. Train should be R. Here any minute now. Nice. Gentlemen, <laughs> it's time. Good luck, all of you. You all know what to do. Off the tracks, drop the back of the train, get money. Here we go. Uh. Shit, no, what? God, oh, you have got to be kidding me. Where did you find that more? You said it was fine. It was my fault. Come on. You're pathetic. You know that? Uh. I have already forgotten what Dutch said, but no problems or uh, something, something, I don't know. Already forgot. Here we go, here we go! Jump. You fell off.
Where did our hat go? Okay, we'll steal someone else's hat sometime. What are you doing? Get over here. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm coming. I'm you coming. Two all right? Yes, let's get the money and go. We got some fellas holed up in this last car. Ah, shit. What are you boys planning on doing in there? <laughs> I'm Listen just to me. Some we corpse. don't want to kill any of you. <laughs> Any more of you. <laughs> I give you my word, but trust me, we will. I work for Leviticus Corps. Come on, boys. We got our orders. Okay. You asked for it. We ain't Five, opening this door. Four. Three, two, one. <laughs> Seems our friends have gone deaf. Wake them up a little. That's gonna even work tonight. That's enough. Mr. Williamson, give Mr. Morgan and Mr. Smith some dynamite. You two boys go blow that door open. Take dynamite. <laughs> now, don't matter too much to us, but you boys in there might want to take a step back. Seems good enough. Now, light the fuse. Here we go. <laughs> oh, that's cool. Lightening it up by you got damage, underside of your foot. Step back, fellas. All right, come on. Just walk on out here. We don't want to kill you. My we just want to rob your boss. <laughs> Get on up there. Search that train. Okay, can I actually move forward, please? 
or not. Okay, I may not be the first one on the train. Can you get on the train? <laughs> Why can't it just look at this place? Ooh. It's like a palace. Well, now I've seen everything. Oh, you two got the safe? I'll search the rest. Oh yes. Ooh. Should be easy okay, as start can. with this. <sighs> Fine You're just brandy. gonna stand there, kid. Pour me some brandy, will ya? I'm parched. Inspect me and Alpha did all the work. Yeah, kid did good. Didn't see you rushing to jump Dear on that Mr. train. Dear Mr. Cornwall, He's we are king. yet to receive I'll the payment of $2,000 for the initial phase of exploration okay. at Wapiti Indian see Reservation, Umbarino. As agreed in the contract between Cornwall Kerosene and Tar and the Leland Oil Development Company, dated over Get November there. 9th, 1898. On received, on, the, on received of the funds, we will proceed with phases two and three of the project and present you with a detailed report of our findings Just within the month. Yours, respectfully, Bond? James. Blah 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 blah. I don't think blah. so. Here, make yourself useful. At least we all know you can read. <laughs> Give me those. So anything? Yes, I can take a cigar. Railroad contract. I cannot take a cigar. I am maxed blah, out on blah. cigars. You got anything? You can take Not another really. letter, apparently. Sugar imports from the Spanish West Indies. And a fine brandy. A lot of sugar. Some fancy new booties ordered from Europe. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, dear Leviticus, Blubatur, Graham, James Mining Company, our new service feed mismanagement. Blah, blah, blah. Have you blah, checked blah, blah. all the drawers and cabinets? Blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Uh, 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 uh. Let's hurry this along, boys. Premium cigarettes. Any luck, Arthur? Nothing much yet. Well, let's keep looking. Goddamn O'Driscolls. These just seem to be contracts. Arthur, have you looked down the end yeah, there? But I could just click on inspect something. <sighs> well, keep looking. There must be something. Know. Okay, let's search this one. I think that's the last. Yeah. No, this looks like something. How's it looking in there? It's not even locked. I think I got him. Nice. Well, thank God. Come on. <clears throat> but I lost my hat. What did you find? These bonds. They worth anything? Oh, sure. Bearer bonds. I think we can probably sell these pretty easily. Well done. Now, would you get rid of all of this? The train? Yeah, get it out of here. What about them? What do you think? I don't know. <laughs> it's up to you. Kill them, leave them here, take them with you on the train. Just make sure they don't send no folk after us. Okay. See you back at camp. When you get back, we'll be moving on. The rest of you, let's ride. <laughs> yeah. Okay, get on the train, quick. Holy. No, I don't want you to get on the train because I don't. All three. So be eight. Because I think you are not gonna. I think you're gonna send people after us. Oh, please, can I please? Thank you. Oh, jeez, can't you just die, please? Oh. Noise. Because I. Holy cow, I've killed a lot of dudes. I think you're gonna tell on me, and I don't want that. I don't want. Mr. Leviticus Cornwall to know who did this. So, there's no survivors. Nobody is going to know who did who did this. Start the train. Nice. Oh man. Yeah, now nobody is gonna break the train, so he's just gonna go until it stops out of fuel. And then <laughs> somebody, somebody will have a train full of corpses. Oh, for Lord's sake, put that book away and go. 
We're leaving now. So we getting out of this hellhole? We're gonna try. Weather seems stable. And we just robbed the Leviticus Cornwall train. <laughs> we got money in our pockets. The worst is behind us, gentlemen. So the question uh, is, where now? I know this country a little. I told you, we should set up camp in Horseshoe Overlook near Valentine. We'll be able to hide out there no problem, as long as we keep our noses clean. Well then, let's go. Clean noses and everything else. Arthur, you're in that one. Bring Hosea. I know you two like to talk about the good old days and what's gone wrong with old Dutch. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Man, I want some candy right now. I have any candy. Nope, I do not. Crap. But yeah, look at those mountains. Like at a frozen lake, the trees, like how they're snow covered and then when you get further down there's like, you can see the progression from a lot of snow Wait, and then Micah, get over here. Yes, down boss. to a warmer You two climate. ride up ahead, make sure there's no surprises. We've had enough of those. Me? With the boy? Just go. Come on, kid. You can buy me a whiskey. <laughs> <laughs> to whip the horses to follow this slow pace. <laughs> Get us out the stream. Holy crap, that left back wheel car. looks not good. Oh, okay. Yeah. Let's take a look. You all right back there? Does everything look all right? <laughs> well, what's going on? Ah, I broke the goddamn wheel. All right, let's get it fixed. You need help? I reckon we can handle it. All right, Charles, you and me hold the thing up while you try and put the wheel back on, Arthur. You still strong enough to hold up a wing? Shut up. I'm just saying. Don't say less. Man, that's got to be a lot of Pick weight. The wheel up. There. Okay, so this is how we fix a broken wheel. Okay. Yeah, oh, okay. So we're after. not gonna lock it in place or anything. Not quite. Okay, we are actually gonna lock it in place. What do you think? If they wanted trouble, we wouldn't have seen them. Poor bastards. We really screwed them over down here. Come on, let's not push our luck. What happened? Well, get in. I'll tell you. No, I don't want to hide at the end of the wagon. Yeah, okay, so everybody else just left us. Nice. So, yeah, I, I yes. know that. I the Indians in these parts got sold a berry rod deal. Message thingy. This is the heartlands we're going to. Good farming and grazing country. They lost it all. Stolen clean away from them it was. Every blade of grass. Killed or herded up to the reservations in the middle of nowhere. And how's that different from anywhere else? Well, maybe it's not. I just heard some of the army out here was particularly uh, unpleasant about it. 
Unpleasant. How do you rob and kill people pleasantly? <laughs> we don't. Good story. Why did I just talk? I fear I was perhaps trying to simplify something more complicated for the benefit of our blockheaded driver here. <laughs> hey, don't blame it on me. Never forget, this here's a con man, Charles, born and bred. Just because it sounds fancy don't mean he knows a damn thing about what he's talking about. <laughs> yep. So, what happened to your trap? I don't even know if I have one. At least, not that I can remember. Oh, jeez. My father was a colored man. He told me he lived with our people for a while. A number of free men did, but... When we were forced to move from our lands, the three of us fled. I was too young to really remember much. My whole life I've been on the run. Ooh. A couple years later, some soldiers captured my mother. Took her somewhere. We never saw her again. We drifted around. He was a very sad man, and the drink had a mean hold on him. Around 13, I just took off on my own. That was about the age we found young Arthur here. Maybe a little older. A wilder delinquent you never did see. But he learned fast. <laughs> Not as fast as Marston, apparently. Wait, I don't understand. What's the problem between you two? Arthur? Yeah, it's a long story. <laughs> We still heading the right way? That depends. Are we still heading west in search of fortune and repose in virgin forests as we planned? No. Are we heading <laughs> in the correct direction on our desperate escape from the law eastwards down the mountains? Yes, I believe so. You know this area? <laughs> a little. I've been through a couple of times. There's a livestock town not too far from here called Valentine. Cowboys, outlaws, working girls, our kind of place. Driscoll's? Probably them too. Pinkertons? Let's hope not. And this place we're going. Wait, well, what's it called again? Horseshoe Overlook. It's a good place to lie low. It'll do for now. And how low do you think Dutch is really going to lie? <laughs> it's just, you know, maybe it's me who's changed, not him, but. We kept telling him that ferry job didn't feel right. You and me had a real lead in Blackwater that could have worked out. Maybe. It just isn't like Dutch to lose his head like that. Things go wrong sometimes. People die. It's the way it is. Always has been. Me, you, Dutch. We've all been in this line of work a long time. And we're still here, so... I figure we must have got it right a hell of a lot more than we got it wrong. What are you working on there, anyway? Just some yarrow and ginseng. Good for the health. Better than that stuff you buy in the store. Yeah, you can have all this. I'm at the point where I can do it with my eyes closed. Oh, okay. Thank you. <laughs> You got fragile herbs. These can be consumed to replenish your cores. And, oh man. Wow, we're going way faster now than we just did. There you are, brother. Head in there and follow the track for a bit. Okay, to the before the rock or after the rock. Okay. Sorry. Can I can I move forward <coughs> I cannot move okay, forward oh I was waiting to you to get on right Any in here, uh, I was supposed well. to go a bit Super further spot. ahead okay. Through this here. here this is the road is this the road is this, is this supposed to be a road I don't know. Ooh, they're already set up camp. Not bad. You weren't long, Jose. This place is perfect. I hope so. Gentlemen, we have survived. For now. Now it is time to prosper. Arthur and I were about to prosper in Blackwater. 
<laughs> we were on to something big. Then Micah got you all excited about that ferry, and here we are. We have all made mistakes over the years, Jose. Every last one of us. But I kept us together. Kept us alive. Kept the nooses off our neck. I guess I'm just worried. I ain't got that long, Dutch. I, I want folks safe before I go. Me too. And now we are stuck east of the Grizzlies and out of money. And a, a long way from our dream of virgin land in the west. I know, <laughs> my brother. But we are safe. We make a bit of money here. Then we move again. Head out around them. Be west of Uncle Sam. In a few months, buy some land. I hope so. Would you just look around you? This world has its consolations. <laughs> Gentlemen, I'm going to head into the local town and, uh, you know, see if I can strike up a little business. Of course, Herr Strauss. I prefer robbing banks to usury. Seems more dignified somehow. Now, everyone, put your tools down for a moment. Come on, gather around. Quickly now. I know that things have been tough. But we are safe now, and we are far too poor. So it is time for everyone to get to work. Get to work, but stay out of trouble. Remember, we are itinerant workers. Laid off when they shut down our factory to the north. Now get out there and see what you can find. Uncle, Reverend Swanson, no more passengers. <laughs> it is time for everyone to earn their keep. There is a town a little way down the track named of Valentine. Livestock town, all mud and morons, if I remember right. That seems a decent place to start. And, uh, we need food. Real food. That means every day. One of you. And remember, whatever it is that you find, the camp gets its slice. Now be sensible out there. <laughs> uh, girls, have your tent ready, Mr. Morgan. Come with me. You two will be ready shortly. We put you over here. I'm sure everything will be fine, Miss Grimshaw. It should be. Most of your stuff from Blackwater got saved. Everything apart from my money. Oh, don't remind me. Well, we can always make more money. We're gonna have to. Miss Jackson, I've seen shit with more common sense than you. Do it properly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. Sleep, shave, or change clothes. Clothes. Ugh. Chapter 2 Horseshoe Overlook Amazing. A couple of weeks later. Got off the mountain, rode east into some pretty enough country called the Heartlands. Been this far east in many a year. Dutch seems a little better. His eyes are sparkling once more, and I can see he's thinking a little clearer. I think we all feel a little happier, in spite of black water and that whole mess. We got our hat back. Cool. Right there. Jose. Quite a day. Let's hope so. There's a bunch of the boys already in Valentine. Bill, Charles, and Javier. And Swanson found something down at the train station by the lake, apparently. Hmm. And Strauss came back with that creepy little smile on his face. <laughs> I'm sure there's a whole list of unfortunates he's forced money upon. <laughs> Thank you. And you? I'm gonna read a book. <laughs> Cool. Camera. But yeah, I think I'm going to leave this episode here. <laughs> Finally, we're down off the mountain. So maybe we can actually do something. Arthur, my boy. My dear boy. What's going on? Nothing. Nothing at all. For the first time in weeks, nothing. We're free. We're free. To plan our own futures once more. I hope so, Dutch. You kept the faith, Arthur. You always kept it. 
And I ain't losing it now. Okay. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and good night. Da -da 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 -da. La 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 la